this year's commencement speaker. Please welcome the University President of West Visayas State University, Dr. Jose Lito F. Villaruz. Our commencement speaker is best known as the Ilonga High School teacher with a minor planet named after her. The Florian Main Belt Asteroid 13241 Bio, or the planet Bio, discovered by Linear at Lincoln Labs ETS in 1998, was named in her honor a distinction from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Lincoln Laboratory after she became the first Asian teacher to win the Intel International Excellence in Teaching Award during the 2002 Excellence in Teaching Competition in Kentucky, USA. Of the numerous national and international honors and awards she has received to date, some of the most notable are the following. Winner of the Metrobank Foundation's Search for the Outstanding Teacher of the Philippines in 1997. Awardee of the Outstanding Women in the Nation Service in 2007. Sir Optimist International Women of Distinction Award in 2004 and the 2016 Education Leadership Award conferred by the World Education Congress in Singapore and an honorary fellow in 2009 of the Philippine College of Physicians. She was conferred with an honorary doctorate in humanities by the Manila Central University and given in 2004 the Award for Continuing Excellence and Service and the Distinguished Lasallian Award. Dr. Bio finished her Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences from the University of the Philippines Visayas in Iloilo, her Master's in Biology and her PhD in Biology from De La Salle University, Manila. She would have wanted to pursue a medical career, but instead became a teacher who has passionately marked her niche in the profession. Dr. Biu's mentorship and science research method have encouraged students to adopt several learning and lifelong behaviors that cultivated noteworthy scientists in diverse research fields including oceanography, marine life, physics, and robotics. These are just a few of the many accomplishments of our commencement speaker who hails from the town of Aniwai, Iloilo. For over two decades, she taught science and was a pioneering science research teacher at the Philippine Science High School Western Visayas campus. She later became its campus director and eventually executive director of the Philippine Science High School system and is now the director of the Science Education Institute of the Philippines Department of Science and Technology. Dr. Bio is also an artist who paints and writes poems. Married to engineer Nonito Bio, our commencement speaker, has two sons who are both science scholars, Jono Angelo, a cybersecurity expert, and Julian Paolo, whose area is in digital arts and animation. A multi-awarded Filipino educator whose contributions to science and education have been recognized nationally and internationally. Our distinguished commencement speaker who has great 
who has graced our significant event, members of the academic community, ladies and gentlemen, graduating class of 2023, Dr. Giuseppe Talamera Dio. Please sit down. To our university officials, headed by your very young and dynamic president, Dr. Joselito Villarus, members of the academe and administrative staff, distinguished guests, parents, alumni, graduates, a pleasant and most memorable day to all of you. Thank you for choosing me as your speaker in this annual commencement exercises for the undergraduate level. I am very proud of West Visaya State University. It is one of DOST SEI's trusted partners in delivering the DOST scholarships. I congratulate West Visaya State University for being the number one producer of MS and PhD in science and mathematics education graduates in the entire country among the 16 DOST SEI consortium universities that are centers of excellence in science and math education. Yes, number one talaga kayo sa buong bansa for producing MS and PhD graduates. Congratulations to all of you. And I believe that we have so many DOST scholars here today. May I see a raise of hands, my mga DOST scholars pa dito? Wow, we are also very proud of you. And I acknowledge and I encourage you, pwede kayo magpursu ng MS nyo kaagad. I-defer lang ang return service, sumulat lang kayo sa akin. And avail of the SEI scholarship programs for MS degrees. So I believe that we have so many DOS scholars here and I am hopeful from, that from this batch comes another group of brilliant and compassionate researchers, engineers, scientists, and other science professionals. By the way, by the third week of June, we will announce another batch of undergraduate scholars, 12,000 scholars nationwide. And I hope that many of them will enter this university. And for your information, we increase namin ang stipend from undergraduate to MS to PhD level. Of course, while science courses are our focus at the DOST, we know that we cannot move forward as a nation without everyone else's expertise. I look forward to your success as educators, business managers, IT experts, communication specialists, health professionals, and in other careers you wish to pursue in the near future. So as mentioned a while ago, I am from Haniwai, Iloilo. One house apart lang kami ni President Bebong, no? Nung bata pa siya, medyo dalaga na ako. We live close together. In fact, kamag-ana kami, no? Whatever values or skills I have right now, I owe this to my family and to the village that has raised me. So if there is one thing I could impart to all of you today, I would like you to remember where you came from. Perhaps the place has brought you happiness. It helps to revisit these memories in these times of challenges. Perhaps it brought you sorrow or regret. Then take with you all these lessons that you have learned during your growing years. Students, I was once in your shoes and I know how hard you have worked to be here today. I believe that even at your age, you already have so many wonderful stories to tell. But let me share with you my personal testimony as an educator in the hopes that you can draw strength and maybe 
inspiration from these insights. I had been a classroom teacher for 25 years before I became the director and eventually the executive director of the Philippine Science High School System. Currently, I am the director of the Science Education Institute of the Department of Science and Technology. Our mandate is to increase the science and technology human resources in the Philippines in support of our national development programs, mostly through our science and technology scholarship programs. I finished a BS Biology degree from the University of the Philippines here in the Visayas Well, I had hopes of becoming a medical doctor. But due to financial difficulties at marami kami nag I, end up, I ended up teaching. I had to take edu education units to be able to teach in high school. My first teaching job was in our hometown, a missionary school. Well, at that time, we lacked textbooks, we didn't have laboratory rooms, I taught other subjects outside my field. In fact, nagtura ako integrated science, biology, English, music, and at one point in time, I was even the CAP commandant of our school. The facilities and effective and equipment for the effective teaching I had in mind were absent. But this situation did not dampen my enthusiasm for the job. In fact, I became more creative and innovative. But those eight years of teaching in our hometown has prepared me for greater challenges ahead. Working with the children of mostly farmers and poor families has instilled in me the importance of service, compassion, and respect for human dignity. I have learned to love teaching, and I see it as an important instrument for transforming the person and the community. Through scholarships, I was able to pursue my MS and PhD degrees in Manila. During those times, I was also teaching at the La Salle University and University of the Philippines in Manila. While Manila has provided me with opportunities for professional growth, I still feel that my heart is in Iloilo. Thus, in June 1995, I shifted back to high school teaching at the Philippine Science High School Western Visayas Campus located in Bitoon, Haro.